Well, hello everyone, it's Carrie back again with you, and I'm excited to share a little bit of love card with you. I'm going to be using this stamp set called Sweet Tweets, and also this cover plate die, which is a mini slimline cover plate die, and this is the Craft Around mini slimline. And it's going to be a really fun card, kind of simple, but with all of the different additions that we add to it and colors, I think it's going to turn out beautifully. So I hope you'll stick around because I am going to share some ways to emboss with a die and then also uh, create a love themed card. I'm starting out with some Distress Oxide inks. I've got four different colors here and I'm going to blend them all together to create a beautiful ink blended background. I'm starting out with sponge sugar distress oxide, then I went in with some salt water taffy, worn lipstick, and last I'll add some aged mahogany. That's the darkest color there. I'm using my favorite blending brushes for this. I do have separate blending brushes that I use for oxides that are different than any other inks. I just reserve these for my oxides alone. So I'm gonna just turn this around because I find it easier to ink on from the right side because I am right-handed. So I turn that around so that I could ink on this last color and I'm just gonna go back and forth, back and forth through all these colors and blend them together really nicely. Now this doesn't have to be perfect because we will be adding a lot of embellishments on the top, a lot of design elements and some ink as well but it looks it does look pretty good nicely blended here now i do like adding a little bit of shimmer and sparkle a little bit of gold to the background so i'm going to take some metallic paints and what i will do is spritz them a little bit with water to get those going so that i can get them moving and once the water has settled in a little bit i will take a paintbrush and put that in the paint and then create some designs on the front of our panel with that, just tapping off the brush onto the panel. So see here, I'm just dipping into that paint here. This is beautiful metallic paint, and I'm going to tap it on my finger, and that's gonna get some beautiful, small little bits of the gold metallic on there. Now I'm gonna try to get a little more paint and make some larger dots. So there we go. And I'm gonna just keep doing this until I'm happy. So of course, <laughs> I will keep going and going and going. <laughs> but there we go, look at that. And look at the shimmer we get from that metallic paint. So pretty. So I have allowed this to dry before I'm doing this next step. So I did use my heat tool just to help that dry a little bit. And now I'm gonna take this mini slimline die and tape that on and run that through my die cutting machine with the embossing plate. This is gonna create a beautifully embossed background with that ink color, with the, with the gold paint. It's such a pretty background. And what I wanna do is, now some of them are about ready to fall out because it is a thicker paper that I used, so I want to make sure to glue this all on without losing any of those pieces. So I thought, well, I'll get my, my tape runner and put some tape runner all over that card base and then add the panel to that. Well, I got my tape runner and of course I could not get it to work. I, I spent a little bit of time talking with it and working with it and it didn't want to cooperate today. So we're back to the trusty liquid adhesive that I love so much. So I'm just gonna take some liquid adhesive, run it all across this background all over so that I get every, almost every little bit of this covered. That way we're gonna keep hold of all of that cover plate die as we attach that right there. I'm just gonna line that up perfectly. And there we go, that's gonna attach it to our card base. I'll use some acrylic blocks to hold that down until that dries, and then we're ready to start on the next part. I have already stamped out the sentiment, you make my heart sing, on some light pink cardstock. I use the same colors as our background here, 
And I've also already colored up some of our images from that Sweet Tweets stamp set. So I have some of the flowers here from the stamp set, the birdhouse, one of those little singing birds, which I love. And I've colored these up using my Copic markers, and I did that off screen so that we could put this together. Now I also had some leaves left over from another project that I had sprayed with some mica spray. And so these are beautiful and they glisten and glow in the light as well. And this is kind of my idea for putting all of this together. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue on that birdhouse first. And just glue that down right underneath where the flowers are going to be. Then I'll attach the bird just like so. And I'm gonna put him right on top of that birdhouse. So he looks like he's standing <laughs> on the house singing just a little bit. He is one happy bird. And then I'll attach those leaves there. Those are from the, I believe they're from the pansy stamp or die set. I'll link that below so that you can see they're really great sized leaves and perfect for any project. <laughs> and so I added those below the flowers and then I'll go ahead and glue all these flowers on. Now I've turned these flowers so they're not all facing the same direction. So we do get a little bit of variation in where the leaves fall and the flowers and the little extra blossoms that are coming off the edge there. So those are turned in a different manner and now I'm going to attach the sentiment with a little bit of foam tape. That will pop it up, add a little more dimension to this card. And I'll use my tweezers to attach that here so I can put that perfectly right there. And I like that placement, so I'll leave that just like that. You make my heart sing. I'm gonna let that dry, and while that's drying, I'm choosing some of these opal embellishments. These are the rosy opal gems from Crafty Meraki, and they are so pretty. I used these on a shaker card before, and I love them so much. I still have quite a few of them, even though I've used them in a shaker. So I love that you get quite a few in this little jar. And I'm gonna just attach a few of them here to the card. I'm using the Bling Buddy Embellishment Wand Tool from Crafty Meraki. I love this tool. It has a stylus on one end and then a gem picker tool on the other end. And that's the side that I always keep the Crafty Meraki logo on. So I know which side is my gem picker Bling Buddy tool. So that's what I'm using. I'll just pick up those opal gems with the tool. I'm, I lost that one. <laughs> These opal gems are a little bit more slippery. So I'll pick them up with my tool. I'm gonna have to probably use my right hand <laughs> to get this one. Uh, there we go. And then I'll attach them with a little liquid adhesive. So I've got three to the, on the right side above the flowers, and then I'll add three to the left side below the flowers and leaves. And that is going to embe embellish this card beautifully. So with the gold paint in the background and these opal gems on the front, I really think it finishes off this card nicely. And here you can see that mica spray glistening in the light, the gold paint in the background, and it's just coming together so nice. So I love how it turned out. Quite a simple card, but has an impact. Here's a closer look at that card and how it turned out. Thanks so much for stopping by today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and we'll see you real soon with some more card inspiration. Bye-bye.